Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another From the Depths Sinking Ship video, and this is Sinking the RMS Titanic. Yes, it's another video, it's uh, my all new design which I uh, did a tutorial for in Minecraft in January uh, 2018. And uh, all new design, all more proportions, better scaling and all that crap. And uh, I thought while I'm here, might as well sink it and exploit it while we can, so uh, there we go. So this will probably be one of many Sinking Titanic videos throughout the year. And... Uh, yeah, let's see how interesting this goes. Anyway, like I said, it's all new scaling. Anyway, it's better scaled anyway. Um, all new design, a bit more proportionate and things like that. But uh, hey, here, there we go. Um, the ship is fully, well, I say fully illuminated. The uh, superstructure is illuminated with lights, so she looks quite nice in the uh, sunset. Um, so yeah, that's it. So what we're going to do, use Emma Jane as per usual to uh, sink this thing. So uh, we'll start off at the bow as per usual. And uh, we'll go from there. So we'll fire... Roughly under the f under, under the well deck, I think. And uh, once she's finished turning her guns, still turning. There we go. Ooh, all four fired that time, so nice 16 shells heading this way. Eventually, and. <laughs> A nice big blast there. Got a massive lag in that one as well. Alright, so put a hole in the side. And. Didn't breach the compartment. No, it's breached the compartment, but. Not below the waterline. Damn it. Alright, try again. Let's fire all 16 again. This should do it. That doesn't bring her down. I don't know what will. There we go, that's done it. Right, so first five, I think the first three or four compartments are actually already open, so they just flood one and then flood all three. So she's going to take a, a subtle dive down in the bow, and she's listing over as well, slightly, which is a bit worrying. So she's tipping slightly to starboard. So yeah, it's a bit worrying, but she looks good nonetheless because of the lights. I did try and do the whole hull, but. You know, it's quite a large ship, so I've only got I about six windows, not bored. Right, so there we go, she's down in the bow. Then we head along, let's actually see what's breached first. So we've got a small hole there and a big hole there. So one, two, three, hang on. One, two, three, four compartments breached. So we'll go along to compartment number five and have a poke at that one. So I'll we'll fire there. And they should bring it down. You just see a propeller poking out the water at the back there, so she's a bit awkward positioning. Huge blast there again, debris everywhere, and down the bow goes. And looks like the list is getting slightly more. Oh, slightly more other list. The forecastle's under the water is swamped the well deck. And yep, she's stable, but uh, a bit precarious nonetheless. And you got the light reflecting on the water there, which looks quite good. Quite interesting. We got a big hole, <laughs> big hole in the side there, as you'd expect. And it's breached, or oh, blown open all the all the uh, decks there actually. So. There we go. Let's have a look in the bow again. I think there's some areas which won't flood properly. So yeah, there's two. There's a compartment on the on the nose which is not flooded, and one below the nose which is not flooded. So yeah, we've got a few compartments which are going to be not breached. So I think we'll go back to the nose and just try and pop a hole in that one again, just to get the uh, everything even, even, even Stevens. And that's just stand about here. So that there, yep, that's done something. That's blown those two compartments open and down the bow. Takes a subtle dive downwards. I say a subtle dive, she's still going. So the water's now flooding the lower deck there. And stops just below the promenade deck. So the water is now much higher up. What a bright sun, isn't it? So we're going to have a look around the back. 
and yet look the props definitely poking out of the water and as you can see well I say I would say you can see these better sculpting of the stern but FTD does not show the uh, textures very well so the layout of the blocks you can, I mean, you can see a bit better there the layout of the blocks but you know, it's not not perfect maybe if I put it in daylight I'd probably see it better but from the depths not very good at rendering uh, the blocks very well All right, so that's that so that's that compartment so we go down have a look again so what's breached that compartment we know is breached so is that one let's look above actually see what's flooded above yeah, okay right, move on to the next one and we'll aim roughly about there to see what uh, we can do this should bring the water up to the bridge in theory you can see the list the angle of the list and that was a huge blast again and down the bow goes again now the bridge is going under and yeah, the bridge is now completely swamped so that's more of a catastrophic blast than I expected but there we go so the water is up onto the boat deck lifeboats are already gone actually well, I say the lifeboat's already gone, they actually fell off while I, <laughs> while I was converting it, so I didn't build them very well in Minecraft when I converted it over, so the lifeboats are half there, the keel of the lifeboats is there, the rest of it's all gone. But never mind. Anyway, the water is now up to the, or just past the first funnel. Propellers are clean out the water. Quite eerie, that. So you can see the stern is... You can see the stern sculpting a bit better there on the uh, draft. Pillars are clean out. Right, so now trying to go back inside and see what we've got to do. So that's flooded, we know that's all broken open. So the next compartment, really, isn't it? So if we try and aim between compartments, so if we about there, we might be able to do more damage. And bring the bow down a bit more so, the, the, so as we're going further along the ship the stern will come down as well because the way we're breaching the compartments okay that's a big hit there so you see the stern is going down slightly once the lag catches up so the stern is settling again now the bow's going down much faster so it's sort of a settling and then more of a plunge so as you can see the mast is going down just see the silhouette of the battleship in the distance. <laughs> and yep, she's going down. I'm not sure how far from the seabed she is, because we're quite a shallow area. But yeah, the seabed is just down there. So we've got plenty of seabed. Or plenty of gap between the seabed rather. Is going down quite quick now. Funnel number one is completely swamped. Funnel number two is just going under now. The mast is completely under as well. Lights are burning. I think the lights would have gone out at this point, wouldn't they? Suppose just before the ship broke apart. So how much is she moving now? Just pop over to the propellers and you usually get a good idea of how the ship is moving. You can see, I'm stood still here and you can see the propellers are moving up. So the ship is still listing upwards. Or the bow going down, rather. So she's definitely on the move. huge ship going down. Not as big as the old uh, model I used but nonetheless it's more accurate and more scaled in proportions anyway. So fun number three is going under now. I could set this to night time, you know, completely night time but the, the, the illumination of the ship is a bit not quite realistic enough so that's why it's at sunset. So you sh it's still dark, but you can still see the ship in a sort of more natural sunlight rather than uh, the weird s 
sun, well not sunset, but the weird um, nighttime effect. Basically the ship glows in the dark in night time, which is a bit weird, but nonetheless, it's all fine. So you, see, you can see how much of the ship is underwater, the, just the stern poking out there. As you're still listing up was the stern is still climbing. You just see it moving. I think we should have hit the bottom before before the stern goes under, so let's have a quick look at the propellers. See how much they're moving. And you can see she's still climbing upwards. And the old Jolly Roger there. So sort of precarious angle really, so you're sort of unable to walk up the decks having to climb up the decks just to get to the stern. But I think if she's not moving up as now, she sort of settled. So I may, maybe she's hit the bottom. Yep, she's hit the bottom. <laughs> so uh, that's a shame. I thought she could have climbed vertical, but never mind. Is she still moving? Uh, no, she's stuck. So I thought she was going to go completely vertical, but just the sea's not deep enough. So. Which is a shame. See, I've spawned the ship in this sort of shallows area. I should have spawned it over in this deeper area over to the right but never mind so that's Titanic almost completely vertical but not going anywhere else and there's still uh, one two three four five compartments which are not flooded so so we just breach most of them and then she'll go down so we just fire away and bring her down. But like I said, this is probably one of many Titanic videos, so I'll try and do a more natural sinking later on with the, the uh, turning off of water pumps and things, so to bring the bow down and things. So yeah, that's one compartment there. She was gliding backwards, so if we fire again, they'll fire a bit further forward. Last. And that one ricocheted. <laughs> okay, so what, we've, what have we done? We've put a few big holes in the side of the ship, that's always good. Problem is, they're not in the right place. So, compartments are still, <laughs> still in funny places, right? So, I'm going to have to uh, rethink the strategy a bit. Then we aim a bit further down. Of course, the stern is going down again now, so. I think the shells may miss. Mm, not sure, I think that's. Yeah, I think that's blown open the compartments. Let it go down gracefully now. Down she goes, there goes the hull. Just the mast poking out the bottom, uh, poking out the top now. Down goes the, f the flag. Which will still be flying even though the ship's on the water. Now we have <coughs> just the mast and the light on the top. So from a distance, that's all you'll see. <laughs> Just see the lights below the surface there. So you can see the ship is just down there. Lights still burning. And down she goes. And 
that's it. The end of the Titan. It'll be a little while before she hits the seabed because it's quite a distance down there. But the lights are still burning. That's what's unrealistic about this game. There's loads of unrealistic things. I mean, lights for one thing working underwater. Well, the lights that we're using anyway. I suppose if you use a proper light bulb, they wouldn't, but down she's going. Yeah, she's going to take a little while before she gets to the seabed. So I think we can do a jump cut and come back when she's settled. So back in a few minutes. Okay, back again. Now the Titanic has settled on the bottom, so just going to move forward, and there she is. Nose down in the seabed. The nose has crumpled slightly where she's. Uh, hit the seabed so it's lost a few blocks there um, but most of the hull is sort of suspended because she's in a, sort of in a, a chasm again as you can see there's a higher mound up here and she's sort of plonked on top of it so you can see nose down resting sort of teetering over a mound and the propellers are in the air so <laughs> there we go that's uh, how she is you can see the flag is still flying which is silly back around the other side you can see the blast in the side Decks exposed, superstructure mangled, <laughs> and then down the other side, more holes in the side, exposed compartments, more big holes there, big blast in the well deck, and then a hole in the bow as well. So you can see all the decks are exposed, at least she's flooded anyway. There are a few compartments I think are not flooded, but you can't say much. Where she's landed, I think there may be some crumpling underneath as well. So she sort of, uh, actually, she sort of just landed softly on this part as well. So she's not as badly crumpled as I thought. So it's usually when they hit the bottom, they uh, bend and break, but not to not to worry. It's just the bow that took the hit. So, um, so yeah, that's a Titanic. And like I said, there is a tutorial on how to build this. It's a Minecraft tutorial, of course, but of course there is a, you can convert it to from the depths. And uh, there we go. So that's, like I said, that's the Titanic in From the Depths. One of many videos, probably, but I'll wait and see. And uh, that's that. So I shall leave it at that. Head back to the surface, which isn't very far. And there we go. There we go. So, yeah, that's uh, the Titanic. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. And uh, I shall return with another video. So, uh, Bye for now.